Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a few different items with you guys I've never tried before. So first we're gonna do the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Liquid Foundation. Never tried this. And then I want to review the Gripping Cover Fix Primer. The uh, Sephora Make No Mistake High Coverage Concealer. The Under Eye Rose Gold Gel Mask by Muscute Onology. I also have Profusion Smoky. I really love this eyeshadow. I think it works wonderful. Um, and I did have surgery, so we're still in the phase of surgery. So we're gonna do this uh, one-handed and I think I can do this. So let's jump into it. First off, we're going to open these eye masks and see how well they do. Okay, so out of package, this is what they uh, they look like. Very gooey stuff right here. They're very thin. So let's see, we can put this on one-handed. I like how, um, how well they stick. They stick really good, actually. <laughs> okay, and so that's the first one. And then it looks like there's two more in this package. So I'll go ahead and put it back in the package. So I was thinking that we were going to do a spotlight eyeshadow look today. Um, I'm going to start by using the Sephora Make No Mistake High Coverage Concealer to prime my eyelids. I'll get this open. Hopefully these are the right shade. I haven't tried them off camera. So this is what the end looks like. I'll just put some on here. And then I also got the um, real, I got the real techniques sponge. So we will just, oops, sponge this in here. Okay, my eyelids are primed and I do like that concealer so far. It's nice. So I'm gonna go in with my new eyeshadow palette and let's see what we're going to start with. We'll probably start with a not so dark shade. So I'll start with this one and I'm not going to be putting it all over my eyelid. I'm gonna be putting it in the inner corner and the outer corner and keeping this filled with concealer. So we'll just start by taking the eyeshadow and buffing it on there so we get a good foundation for our darker colors. Just keep on buffing that around. But try to stay away from the middle of your eye. As this is a spotlight look.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more precise brush as we are going to start bringing in a little bit darker of color. So I'm gonna do this shade right here, which is called Sandstorm. And I'm going to keep that close. I'm not gonna bring it up as high as I brought the other shade. I'm gonna keep it closer to my eyelid. But blending it out. So I also thought that while we get ready, you guys could get to know me a little bit. So I am a mama of two boys. I am married, been married now seven years together, almost 10. Wow, time flies. Um, my one child, he just turned nine, and then my other one just turned five. And the backstory is that I have not worked or anything because he was born premature, the five-year-old. So he was born with a swallowing difficulty. Um, and I will post some photos right here of um, how little he was when he was born. So he was two pounds uh, and I had an abruption. So we they had an emergency C-section him and get him out. He's had a really hard life and you know, so has my nine year old, but for how much he's been through, like he is the happiest child I think I have ever met. And I know they say that children with special needs, you know, they are always happier for some reason. They just really enjoy life. I don't know if they look at life differently, but he's my survivor. And then, you know, I give props to my nine year old for putting up with everything we had to go through, not to mention that I wasn't around a lot because I have had multiple appointments for him. Um, so kudos to him. He's a, he's happy too. So I don't know. He's in school now, he's in kindergarten, and I felt like I needed to do something and makeup and doing hair just keeps me relaxed and is actually my happy place. So I really am happy that I could get on here and film videos for you guys and have fun doing it. You know, I'm having a blast, whether anybody watches it or not, I'm having so much fun and life's great. <laughs> okay, so now that we did that, we're gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush, even smaller, to get this color right in there. So I'm going to do the, let's see if I can flip it around here, the nutmeg shade. And we're gonna keep that one close to our line right here. So anyway, yes, life's been hard, but I've learned a lot and he's learned a lot and we've all learned a lot and we've all learned to work together and go through this crazy thing you call life. He was on a G-tube, but I am happy to announce that he no longer needs the G-tube and he's eating by mouth. So we actually just got that removed after going through an intensive feeding therapy program. So I am excited. He doesn't understand that this is probably the biggest thing that he will ever have to go through is getting that tube removed. And I don't know, he'll appreciate it when he's older, right? <laughs> so I'm just keeping this darker shade on my eyeball right here. I'm not bringing it way up there. And then don't worry, all my lines look a little bit harsh, but we're gonna go in and buff them out, make them look a lot better. So yeah, I wanted to find something to do with my time as of course I've been out of work on and off. I am a certified nursing assistant, which I absolutely love that job, but I don't know, being out of the game for so long, it's like, I wanna do makeup, I wanna do hair, I wanna do something that I love. And we're gonna ride this roller coaster together. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a different brush and I'm going to buff these colors in so that they don't look as harsh. So we are just blending, blending, blending. So 
I don't know. I, if you guys have been through something, you know, kind of similar or, you know, your own obstacle, let me know down below. I think it really helps other people and it really, you know, helps people like understand that life's tough and everybody has their own ups and downs and obstacles they all have to achieve. But at the end of the day, we're all still breathing and we're all still happy, you know, like enjoy life. Life is wonderful. Okay, so I think that looks good. So I'm going to actually take a primer, the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer, and I'm gonna just put it on the middle because I do wanna do a shimmer shade right there. And I'm going to take my finger and just pat it in right here. This will help prime your lid so that that shimmer shade really, really pops. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the bling shade. I think that looks pretty. But I'm going to use my finger to apply it because I feel like the finger works a lot better. Look at that, I love these colors. If you guys haven't tried it, I really recommend you to try it. I find them at Walmart. Um, I'm sure you can buy other places, but I don't know. They're just so pigmented and they blend easily and the shimmer shades, like they're beautiful. So now I'm going to, uh, again, take my small brush and just buff it. You don't want any harsh lines. And I don't really like buy myself new makeup. That's why I'm having also so much fun. I'm pretty stingy when it comes to myself. And I think it's because, you know, I haven't worked and I've got two kids that I just think my money belongs to them and the, the stuff that they need. Um, but I really am having fun trying new makeup. I am adventuring, as you one would say. <laughs> so I'm having fun. Okay, so... Now I'm going to do the liquid eyeliner and I'm going to apply that to the top. I don't think I'm going to do a wing today. I'm just going to take this and draw it. So that looks my makes my false eyelashes look thicker. I'm sorry the mirror is so far away. So sorry if I'm right up in the camera. not see that far. All right, I got a smaller mirror so that I can see it a little bit easier. So just running it across the lash line. Doing this helps your false eyelashes look so much thicker. Woo, messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> okay, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, I finally did it. So now let's take these off. And these didn't irritate my eyes and I have pretty sensitive eyes. So this is a good patch that I think I'll come back to. My eyes feel nice and hydrated. So now I do things a little bit different. So I'm gonna move on to this new mascara. It's Lash Princess. I've heard some great things about this. I actually ordered mine off of Amazon. And it's pretty inexpensive, but people say it works amazing. And I don't really have any eyelashes because I do use false eyelashes. And they do kind of uh, rip out my real eyelashes. But I'm working on a serum, so if I like it, I'm going to do a review about it. So here it is, unwrapped. So let's put some of this on my no eyelashes and see what wonders it does. I am going to apply false eyelashes regardless. So, I 
That's with one coat. I mean, it's pretty hard to impress me and I think it's because I, my eyelashes are so sparse, but we're working on growing those back. So we'll have to try this again when they actually grow. <laughs> but just add a few more coats. And I like to twist it and bring the product up. So there is that. So we're going to add another coat and see if it's buildable. It's not terrible. I mean, I can definitely see my lashes, but I definitely like the way that false eyelashes make the eye look look. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Of course, like always, I'm going to go in with my kiss, these shy eyelashes. I like these ones because they look the most natural. I don't want people to know that I've got false eyelashes on. They're my eyelashes, but better. So off camera, I'm going to apply those and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Doesn't the eyelashes make the look so much better? So I do want to mention though, I have been using this Kiss uh, Strip Lash Enhancive. I don't know. It's okay. It's not the best. It definitely takes a life age to dry. Um, I only picked that one because my store was out of the duo, which I swear by this. This cements your eyelashes down and we do a lot of off-roading so we ride quads and dirt bikes and side by sides and i find that this makes my eyelash come off with this kind of glue so i recommend the duo not so much the kiss one we will go into the gripping primer i've never tried this it has great reviews and as you can tell i have a lot of acne so i need a good gripping primer so that my foundation sticks really good to this so i don't know why i have acne as a teenager i never did but here i am in adulthood and yeah i got a lot of bad boys with me all the time <laughs> so this is what it looks like out of the package so let's just see if it delivers what it says okay so it's a clear primer and I'm just going to put this all over grip this foundation and I've never tried the foundation so I'm pretty excited about that too and we're not done with the eye look just so you know so <laughs> I just like to do my foundation first and then I finish up the eye look And I've already did my eyebrows off camera, so those are finished. So let's see. Yep, it definitely has that sticky consistency on my face, which, okay, I'm about that. So this far, I like this one. So now we're going to move on to the Urban Decay All Nighter and see what this is about. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. I like it. Shake it, it says. So we're gonna shake it. And normally I would put this, like squirt it onto my hand, but I can't. So apply it to my face, but I'm going to, with the beauty blender on half of my face, and then I'm going to apply it with a brush on the other half of my face and see which way is better. So I got my damp new beauty blender. So I'm just going to pat this in. And I was wondering about the shade, but actually it doesn't look too bad. A little dark, but that's okay. And we're gonna do the concealer around my eyes. So I'm not really trying to go too high up there, sponge. What do you think in there? So just tap it in, tap it in, tap it in. Mm 
Yeah, I don't know. I really like this this far. It's beautiful. It gives a very, uh, definitely a full coverage kind of look. And it is covering up all my buddies. The, you know, those friends that just never freaking leave you. Yeah, that's them. They don't leave me. They're always with me. And I like to blend my neck a little bit. Maybe add some more. Needs it to match. We need it to match. Okay, this is one side of my face done with the Beauty Blender. I like that. So let's see how it does with a brush. I definitely feel like you get more coverage if you use the Beauty Blender. Like you, you can't see any of my acne scars over here, but you can over here. Maybe let's add a little bit more. Didn't have much over here. Just see if it is buildable. All right, that's a little bit better. Blend that neck in, get it to match. I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender on my neck. Beauty Blender side and the brush side. I don't know, I kind of like it better with Beauty Blender but time will tell. All right, so now we're going to do the High Coverage No Mistake Concealer by Sephora. It's a little strained. Never really used one that just kind of squirts out like this. So for this, I will use my Beauty Blender. Woo! Should be white! <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's pretty white. <laughs> well, then we'll darken it up a bit. We'll figure something out. So just pat it in there. Yeah, that is a, that's a little bit, I think, too light. <laughs> Looks like I was wearing sunglasses and then I, don't ask me what happened up here when I was in the sun. <laughs> okay, we'll just blend that out and then I'll just take what's left on my beauty blender and tap it. not gonna do all my face with this on this side because this is the brush side but I am gonna try and make that to where it's not so white <laughs> okay now I am going to take the Maybelline fit me translucent powder and I am going to put this under my eyes before they crease and I will use a beauty blender for this. So what do we think? Do we like that concealer? Minus the, it's so light compared to my foundation. I think I like it. It's pretty. I really, really like this foundation though. 
definitely like it. But we're gonna do an all day wear test and I will let you know how it is by end of day if I like it. Okay, so now that the eyes have concealer under it, I'm gonna go ahead with my eyeshadow and I'm going to take the darker shade that we used. So the nutmeg shade. And I'm just going to smudge it underneath my eyes. Okay, and now I'm going to take some eyeliner, the Rimmel Scandalous Eyes, and I'm going to smudge that along my lower lash line. Being careful with my arm here. Now I'm going to go back in with my Lash Princess and apply more mascara because why not? And now I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara to the lower lashes and go ahead and make that face because we all do. Okay, and my thoughts about the Lash Princess, I actually really do like it. It makes your eyelashes really stick out. They're, it's great. So now I'm going to take my eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. right we're looking good we're looking good so now I'm gonna take some setting powder and I'm just gonna set all around my face that I didn't do earlier again with a damp beauty blender I don't like that shiny look that look that uh, you were just running a marathon all day I do not like that so that's why I use the setting powder to try and get rid of that kind of glossy kind of look and it just sets your makeup in place and it helps it last longer all day all right that looks great I cannot get over this foundation. I really love it. It makes such a difference in my skin. And I don't have the best skin, I'll tell you that much. It's sad, I'm working on it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Pure Minerals Mineral Glow. I love this bronzer so much. It's beautiful on the skin. So we will just bronze up.
You know what I want to try? I don't know if you guys have seen her. I uh, can't think of her name right now. But she did the foundation challenge. I, I kind of want to try that. It's where like you put 10 squirts, 20 squirts on your hand, and then you rub the foundation all over your face. I kind of want to give that a try. It looks super silly, but it looks kind of fun. So maybe that'll be the next video I try. Because I love coverage. And that's definitely full coverage. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to do the Milani Strobe Light Liquid uh, Highlighter. So I just like to squirt this right above where I added the... It'll come out. <laughs> right above where I added... The bronzer. What in the world? Come on. I did love it. <laughs> all right. Come on. There. Oh, no. That's a lot. That's all right. We'll be all right. Okay. Okay. She came out quick then. Then I will take my beauty blender and just tap it in. That's the only shiny I like is where I apply it, not where it just naturally happens throughout the whole day. Woo! That's a lot. Okay, that's pretty. So I'm going to actually take some on a smaller brush. And I like to add that to the eyebrows, not on top of the eyebrow. So right here. And then sometimes, especially for this look, I will add it to the corner of my eyes. And tap it in with my finger. All right, now I got this new lipstick from Kylie Jenner that we will give a try and see what it looks like. This is what the end looks like. So let's put it on here and see. That's a really pretty color. Got a little loosey goosey there. I like it. <clears throat> it's a little bit uh, dry, so I'll probably add some lip gloss to it. But I do want to try. Sometimes I like to take concealer and add it to the middle of a lipstick. Just adds a little color right this one. Might be a little bit too dark. Or too light. You guys like that? Is that pretty? <laughs> no, this one's definitely light. So we'll just tap it in, tie it in. Yeah, the lipstick is pretty drying. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip gloss to this because it feels very dry. I'm gonna do the Sheer Smooth Lip Oil. Just smear this on top of it here. That's better. All right, so I'm gonna do an all day wear test and see how this makeup is looking. A majority of it is new. All right, I hope you guys enjoy today's tutorial and I will be back at the end of the day 
to let you know my thoughts about the new makeup that we tried. And I'll give you a close up of the eye. All right, I'll see you guys soon. So I have some errands to run today, but I thought that I would show you what it looks like in natural light. And yeah, I think it's great. I love this foundation. Okay, and now it is nighttime. My thoughts about this makeup is I love the foundation. It does look a little dewy right now, but maybe next time I will use a matte setting spray. Other than that, it stayed all day long. It also says that it's waterproof and sweatproof. So this is a great one to wear in the summertime. Um, the mascara, I like the mascara too. It didn't flake on me all day and it stayed nice all day. The lipstick obviously faded, but that's to be expected. I also didn't really even like that lipstick. It was really, really dry. The color was beautiful. The eyeshadow I still love, of course. I, this is my ride or die eyeshadow. I absolutely love it. And the concealer is great. I don't know. I think it was a great makeup day and I think I will continue to use this makeup uh, from here on out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!